Hey guys, what's up? This is your boy Brett bringing you another Summoner's War video. Um, the Homunculus is out. Great new addition to the game. Everybody's going for it. Uh, everybody, of course, is in the Rift of Worlds. Not everybody, but most people are in the Rift of Worlds trying to go through the different beasts to obtain this guy right here. All right, so this guy right here. So as you can see, it takes a lot to get him. And if you can't go through and do this here, um, if you can't go through and do these guys, respectively, it's going to take you a long, long time to get it done. And as you can see, I've gotten a D on all of them except the fire one. Uh, with that said, uh, I'm going to take you through kind of a step back. Because um, before you get here, there are some things, there's a place you need to live, and a lot of you know it, especially you in-game players, it's called Dragon's B10, okay, or B9 if you can't run B10, but B10 is usually the big one there. Um, you're going to go through, you want to get the Immoculus, everything's great, people are going, I want to get it, I want to get it, we all want to get it. But the point is, is if you have Mons, even if you have, or units, even if you have you know, some high-end uh, five-star uh, units or if you have just low-end units as a whole, you're not going to be able to get what you need done unless you have the right rooms. So with that said, uh, I'm just going to talk to you briefly about Life in Dragons B10. This is going to be your new home, away from home, your rental property, your side job, your... I got to go to church on Sunday. Stop. This is everything you're going to be doing for quite a while. I know personally I've been farming or Dragons 10 uh, in the mix of everything else I've been doing for the past two months now. And with the exception of getting a lot of mana, being able to re rune for rune removal day, uh, it's been a slow progress. And, and I get it now as far as, as, far as runes go. As far as having uh, you know some synergy with runes and having runes harmonized and trying to uh, speed tune certain things, um, it, it takes a lot. Uh, some people get, of course, lucky with the runes. Some people put some money into their runes as far as buying certain things. But for me personally, it's just more of uh, just straight farming. I, you know, I, all my crystals pretty much go to refreshes now. I'm not buying premium packs, stuff like that. It's just life in dragons. And a lot of people go, well, that sucks. I don't want to farm dragons just to get to the next level. I understand that. A lot of people don't. But if you don't farm it, whether it be giants or dragons or necro, uh, necro, in my opinion, is a little more on the PvP side because you can stay in dragons forever and get everything you need, honestly. Again, personal opinion. Uh, but if you're not getting the runes you need, how can you take the next step forward to get where you want to be if you haven't kind of mastered where you are. And a perfect example is before room removal day, I had a Lucian, and I thought my Lucian was okay, fairly decent, and I had somebody look at my Lucian and go, man, your Lucian needs some attention. And I'm looking at him, and of course he has a high crit damage with like a 34% crit rate and a high attack. And, you know, he's fairly fast, N nothing to brag about, but kind of fast. And a few people looked at it and go, well, you know, all the all the crit damage and attack in the world does nothing if he never crits. So room removal day comes around. I re-rune him. His attack goes down a little bit. His speed stays relevant because um, I got lucky with some speed runes. But I took the speed rune I had off and got it from substats. And I got him to a higher crit rate with a little bit less crit damage. And now he does a whole lot better. And so people go, well, that, you know, I, I don't want to have to go through all that. And again, I understand you don't want to go through all of it. But if you're not going to get what you need out of the drops, regardless of what you're farming, you're never going to see the payoff when you go into try to get the homunculus or if you're going to uh, if you're going to try to raid and you can't get past R2 or R3. A lot of this game, and I know other YouTubers and people have said it, it's all about the runes. It's nothing but runes. Yes, you can have a Zyros or a Poseidon or a Lucian that are great units, 
But if they're not room right, they're just units that look pretty. Uh, you know, I got my Lucian finally, and I thought I was great when it came to doing a little bit of uh, the arena, and he still sucked. And I was like, why does my Lucian suck? Well, you know, not everybody out there has somebody that can be very blunt and honest with them to say, hey, look, your runes suck. Because you get people who go, oh, I found this six-star rune, and they're all happy they got it. And just because it's a six-star percentage rune and it's got a couple of substats, they're like, oh, it's six-star, I'm keeping it. It's hard to look at a look at a rune and go, no, I'm selling it. <laughs> and, and it sucks because you finally get that six star rune drop in the right slot that you want, and it may have all the right substats, but it's a flat rune, or it may have all the wrong stats, but it's that HP rune you were looking for. The hardest thing to do is to take a step back, look at what you've ruined, and realize it's not rune the best. You may have a rune on there on any slot that has speed and crit damage, but you don't need speed and crit damage. You might need speed and HP. You might need accuracy and resistance. And then all of a sudden you look at the stats on any given monster, or again, unit, I keep saying monster, but any given unit and realize you can get better out of a different rune. You know, and you may have to go from a six to a five star rune. Hopefully you don't have to go from a five-star rune to a four-star rune. That, that usually doesn't last too long. But um, it's, uh, it, it's, it's a job in itself. And when we're done with this run, I'll, I'll give you some examples and show you where I'm at. Um, I have Tosi, where he was rune... F yeah, he, he, just, he just had runes on him. Uh, Lucian, I had him speed, crit damage, attack, I think. So yeah, he went fast, but he went fast and didn't do a lot of damage where I slowed him down, and for instance, if I run him with Chasun now, Chasun puts up her attack buff, and then he goes, so now guess what? He does even more damage, so it works out. Um, if I can run him with, with my Galleon, I really don't need to because he ignores defense, but I could because he gives an attack buff. Um, it works out better to take that little step back until you get the runes you actually need and want, and it does take a while. Uh, let's see, who, who do I mess around with? I mess around with uh, Veramos. Uh, I had him at like 187 speed. Rune removal day came around. Not this last one, but the one before that. He got slower. I was like, what the heck? Because I wanted his accuracy up, but he got slower. This rune removal day, I went through and I got him up to like 195 speed. His accuracy is around 50%. Again, not the best, but it works out better that I got to speed him up, but I sacrificed a little bit of accuracy. So let's take a look at this rune. So it's an attack rune with speed on it. Now, with that said, it's a shield rune. So, you know, your shield rune is naturally, is based off HP. So this flat HP is doing me nothing. The accuracy, eh, depends on kind of who I put him on as, as a little bit of a help. The speed would be great if both rolls went to speed and the next substats under there were, for instance, an HP percentage, um, you know, some crit damage or crit rate, something like that. But it's a gamble. So what will happen is uh, she'll, I'll get that one and I'll, I'll boost that one for you guys so you can see. But let's talk about rooms. Where is my... There we go. So as you can see, before, and his rooms are not fully buffed, okay? So just where you can see, as you can tell, I, I re-ruined it. But let's look at this rune, okay? So it's a uh, one-slot rune. He's got crit rate, crit damage. Great. A little bit of speed on there would be cool. Maybe some HP so he doesn't die as quickly. But overall, what I'm looking for. Uh, attack rune, speed, HP. The defense I could care less for, but I've got some speed and HP on him. Again, crit rate, crit damage. All the fun stuff you're looking for. Here, I got speed, crit damage, resistance, and HP. I'm not going to find attack on this rune. So the crit damage and the speed I like. I wish I would have got more in the speed and the crit damage area. Um, but this is what I have right now. This will probably be replaced hopefully within the next month. Uh, here, as you can see, he is on a broken set because I've got this crit damage rune and it's got a lot of crit rate and speed on it. Well, I don't have a blade rune that can mimic this and I don't have, as you can see, an endure rune that can mimic this. 
Now, some of you guys are going, well, he doesn't have the sets and all that. If you don't understand broken sets yet, I, I don't want to confuse you too much, but if you can find the rune that you need with the main stat, for instance, here. Or no, no, bad example. Here. You find the rune you need with the main stat. So it's the six-star crit damage rune that has crit rate of 16% and 11 speed on it. Okay? But let's say I don't have enough rage rune to make the set to get the stats that I want. Then I'm looking at broken sets. And I've been talking to a guildie of mine who he's kind of just drilled that into me because I keep going, but I need the set. I need the set. He goes, why do you need the set? And I go, because it does, you know, gives me uh, extra crit rate or it gives me this or it gives me that. He goes, well, if you can get those from going offset, then why go with the set? And Lucian was my test subject for that. So as you can see, crit damage with crit rate and speed, I got what I needed. Here, blade, crit rate, and some speed. Um, crit damage, crit rate, some HP. You guys saw this one. You guys saw this one. So now, as you see, I have two sets of blade, which help my crit rate. This isn't done yet. So if, imagine if that were plus 15, it'd be a lot higher. So I got two sets of blade. I'm offset with everything else, but now if you look at my stats, okay, I've got, what, 1,800 attack. I've got 100 and, what, 20s, 29 speed, so 129 speed. Not the fastest, but, again, I'm not running him for speed. I'm running him for damage, and I'll show you who I run him with. Uh, and then my crit rate's at 83%. My crit damage is at 136. So, yeah, you go, well, your crit damage is low. Yes, but I still have the rune that I need to get to plus 15. So that's going to help my crit damage. No, by no means is he the OP Lucian that you see in some people's videos. They've been playing a lot longer than I have. But for a starting, or I don't want to say a starting, but after being re-runed and stats going up, then hopefully by next rune removal day, I can go in here and maybe replace that rune. Or not, yeah, maybe I'm... You know, you may go, well, your crit damage may go down. Yeah, but if I can get some HP, speed, and crit damage, all the better. Uh, here, if I can get a higher crit rate and higher speed, again, all the better. So if I can get my stats to go up, just all the better. Of course, skills play into this as well. He's not fully skilled, but we're just talking about stats, or these stats in particular. So we've got that. Uh, let's look at, who else did I talk about? Tosi, I didn't know, and I'm just starting to kind of get into how amazing Tosi is. If you have him, he is worth building and worth going through the hassle of building. Again, you can see his stats. He's got a really high attack. He's got yeah low speed, but again, I'm not ruining him for speed. He's got a 78% crit rate, 141% crit damage. Fatal Blade, as you can see here, crit rate, crit damage. Defense, eh, didn't need it, but that's what rolled. Oh, sorry. Two here, crit rate, crit damage. Wish it could have been higher, but that's what I got. That's not a complaint. That's it's a decent roll. Uh, crit damage here, crit rate, some speed. I wish I could have some higher crit rate and maybe a little bit higher speed, but again, that's what I got. Crit rate of 12. Um, I wish one of those would have rolled uh, maybe HP, but again, I'll take it. Crit rate, defense, HP, speed. If the one defense roll would have went to any other spot, I would have loved this room. But again, I'm not going to complain. And crit rate, HP, speed. This one's on here because of the speed. And I just got a little bit for everything else. So you look at, again, so 15, 15, and 15. You see his attack and his uh, crit rate and crit damage. And you go, okay. Again, some people may go, man, that's amazing. Some hiring people may go, yeah, he's I. Right. <laughs> and uh, I'm at the point of realizing that he is I right. because I know I can get him higher. I can run raids and maybe grind some things out, but I want to get the runes where I need them before I start grinding them because then I'm a grind. Let's say I grind a rune that I have now, and it's not the rune I want to keep forever and a day. Now I've got a rune that I've taken the time to go raid, grind. And now I want to replace that rune. And it's like, well, I kind of screwed myself. So, yeah, get, get the runes that you know you're going to keep forever and a day. And then go from there. 
Uh, another guy I re-ruin is Darian. Uh, Darian's been my problem child because I'm trying to run him for, was it arena offense? But just literally to stand there and look pretty and take damage. But as you can see, I, I don't have his stats high enough. Wadam, again, one of those units where I was like, oh yeah, he's great. Before Rune Removal Day, he was at like 20,000 HP. After Rune Removal Day, his plus is 20,000 HP. So it's like, what the hell? Okay, you see I've got uh, just over... Yeah, just over a thousand defense on him. No real attack, but he's all HP. And that's because of his skill, if you don't know. His passive. Uh, pretty much saves my ass anytime I have over 30% of his max HP. So for now, I receive an attack uh, that kills him. That death will be prevented, and 30% of your max HP uh, will be transferred to that ally. The skill will not activate if I'm below 30%. So. It's not going to let him kill himself to save somebody, so you want to have a high HP. And a little bit of defense doesn't hurt. You know, you, you want him to live. So that was somebody else I re-ruined. And you look at the runes. I got him on a set. Great. The reason why he's on this set, personally, is to go back. He has a high resistance, so he's not being put to sleep, hopefully, or stunned or frozen or all that. Um, I put him on despair, mainly because he's not going to do a lot of damage. So if he does get a hit off, hopefully he gets a stun. So let's go through. You've seen these runes here. Um, so HP, he's got attacks, defense. Here, uh, HP, defense. Again, HP, speed. This rune is going to be replaced. I didn't have any better ones, and it was the only one I had. And again, we just talked about broken sets. The only reason why this didn't go to a broken set is for the despair aspect in hopes I get a despair stun. That's the only reason why this rune made into the count. The 11 speed is great, but I'm not going to take the time to gem and grindstone this out where, in general, I'll just find a better rune at some point. Here, defense HP. I mean, you guys are starting to see the trend here. Again, uh, this one, this rune will probably be replaced. It's got everything I don't really want on him. Uh, except the resistance, but the resistance is one of the low of the four. So this one will get rotated out, and hopefully I find uh, some more resistance and some more defense on the rune uh, whenever it gets replaced. And then the top one here, HP, speed, and resistance. So you can see the, the, the running theme there. And let's see, are these all? No, that one's not plus 15. That one is. This one I really don't want a plus 15 because I want to get something to replace it, but... It may. It may not, honestly, but it may. Uh, let's see. Who else did I play with? Uh, oh, Bernard. I kind of left Bernard in the background back when I was doing Giants. And I used him to beat Giants. And I go, hey, it's Bernard. I don't need him anymore. Boy, was I wrong. Bernard and Lucian go together like peanut butter and jelly, uh, ham and tuna fish. <laughs> if you've seen that movie, uh, you know, and Bernard just, I mean, this skill right here, or excuse me, his leader ability, a lot of people look at that and go, oh yeah, it works with Lucian, sweet, but this skill right here increases the attack bar of all allies by 30% and also increases their attack speed for two turns, that is not specific to win monsters, so when I go through, let's see if I can show you guys without getting too much lag here. I'm still trying to fix this. I got a new tablet. That's why I've been gone for a while. Um, so I updated my tablet, and now it seems like my tablet is so fresh and so clean that it it glitches on everything I freaking do. Uh, okay, so if you see this right here, you notice I don't have Lucian in this group. The reason being is because... Uh, Bernard, he, his attack ability, he's not there for his attack ability. Bernard's there to boost with his third skill. I could put this here, but as you see, that only works in guild battles. So let me give, see if I have some, if I can get a low in person, because I know anybody who's beginning to mid game, I want them to kind of get what's going on. Okay, so check this out. So I'll take Darian out and I'll bring Sigmaris. So as you can see, I have. 
an attack bar boost, I have a defense break, and I have my two nukers. Oop. My two nukers and Sigmars and Tosi. So, if all goes perfectly, Sigmars, or shit, <laughs> Bernard will go first. I use him to boost everybody's attack speed. Gallium will go second. He'll land a defense break. Tosi will play cleanup. And if for some reason there's somebody hanging on, Sigmars is going to knock their ass off the board. Let's see how it works. Again, we're talking about runes and living in giants, and I'm, I'm taking it a, a step further so you can see where the farming and all the, the, the payoff starts to go after, of course, reruning. So, of course, Bernard goes first. Everybody's attacks, attack bar is full of my end. So now I get a defense break and an attack boost with everybody on my end. Uh, Bella didn't get defense broken, but hopefully this won't matter. Because now, Tosi's third skill, and again, Tosi is not fully skilled out. He's going to do his third skill. And one, two, and he clears the board with everybody except Bella. So guess what? Sigmars gets to come play cleanup. And he's gone. Okay? Um, again, sorry for that lag. You guys didn't get to see it smoothly. But as you can see, he never got to go. And that's where the whole dip, completely different thing where you start to move up an arena. But different thing for a different time. So let's go back in, into here. So, again, we've been farming. A uh, person I've been farming giants for two months. Uh, as you can see, Sigmars, just so you saw that team. 79% crit rate, 123% crit damage. Yes, I want that to get better. And his attack. So, one rule of thumb and it's a very hard one to do, but in general, you don't want to rerun somebody if you can't make their stats better, or at least the same. Now, there are certain times where you might want to go down a little bit in attack because you're going to get a higher crit rate and crit damage. Because, of course, if you're critting all the time and you're critting for a very high crit damage, then it kind of offsets. With Sigmars, he's been on this rune set for God knows how long, but when you look at it, uh, he's got HP crit damage. He doesn't need resistance and accuracy, really. Here, HP, he's got some crit rate and speed, so I like that one. Crit damage, he has crit rate, speed, res uh, and HP. I like that one. Here, again, crit rate, speed, HP. You can see where my theme is going, crit rate. This one has accuracy, defense, attack. I don't need any of those except the crit rate. And here, um, again, this is when I first started the raid. I actually used the grindstone and put his attack up to 16, speed, crit damage. Again, I shouldn't even rune or uh, grindstone to this one because this room may not be here for forever, but it helped out at the time. And this was, what, a month, two months ago? I did it. I wanted to feel good about myself because I got something out of raiding. whoop de doo All right, so I know I'm beating a dead horse, but as you can see, in general, Dragons B10 for you guys who are trying to, in my opinion, move out of just playing the game and starting to want to move up. Uh, honestly, it's going to be a lot in regard to Arena. Uh, with the exception of this week I'm in right now, uh, I, well, heck, I can show you. You see my best, best score ever, 1357. I'm at 1365 right now. Um, last week, as you can see, I was at 1076. That's because I didn't, I thought my runes were, were good. I thought they would get me where I needed to be. And I could get up to, as you can see, I can get up to where I am now, but I never really make it through the week at where I am now. At this point, was today Thursday? Yeah, so Thursday is the day I'm recording this. It'll probably be out maybe Saturday or something because uh, I have some more stuff coming out. But I can now, I'm trying to get into Conqueror 1, and that may still be a little far-fetched to where my runes and my monsters are as far as being skilled and, and fully runed out. But I can now make that, that next level. So to bring it all together, I've been farming dragons for two months. By default, I'm now moving up in Arena. With that said, you saw my units as far as Sigmaris, you saw uh, Bernard, you know, 
that Bernard speed to some people I know is still kind of low, but it's my Bernard. I love him. And he, his speed rune is still not fully maxed out. Uh, my Lucian, as you can see, he's not fully skilled out. His runes are not fully maxed, so he will get better. Uh, same thing with, who else did I show you? Uh, Tosi will need some work because he will need new runes. Uh, Hwadam still can get boosted, but he will need new runes. Same with Darian. So, better runes, better arena rank. Uh, again, we can just take it off. More glory points that I farmed. Uh, and with all that said, when it's all said and done, then I can finally, finally go into here and get a B on this monster. At least one. I know I can't do them all and get that high, but I can get one. It's work, guys. Uh, if you ever saw my Road to Redemption video, you saw Jake go free to play and make it through Dragons and Giants V10 and TOA, what, I think 50. If you put in the work in Dragons and farm it, farm it, farm it, and farm it until you don't want to farm it anymore, and then farm some more on top of that, you will get where you need to be. The reason why I'm talking about this still is because whether it be Facebook, some of the guys I know at work, all that, they want to hop into going straight for the homunculus. And they can't do it. And people are like, why not? I don't know how to get this. You know, my runes have been better. I've been boosting my runes. Just because you put a six-star rune on a monster and plus 15 it doesn't mean it is the best rune for that monster. You want to get it synergized. And just a quick, quick... Um, oh, I was talking about what am. Okay, so quick, quick. HP, you see defense on there, okay? HP, defense. This was the one that's off, so I took the speed. But again, HP, defense. HP, this one will get replaced. No defense, of course. This one here, I took the HP and the speed. If you can't see where I'm going, I want HP and defense. Same with uh, Tosi. Crit rate, crit damage. Crit rate, crit damage. Crit rate, crit damage. If you're not seeing where I'm going with this, then you might find yourself with an attack rune with resistance and accuracy on it going, how come I can't get my crit rate and crit damage up because I have a crit damage rune here. Your subs are just as important as the main stat. And in some cases, maybe a little more important because you need it. I mean, I could put a crit rate uh, rune here. But then here you're going to see more crit damage, or you're going to want to see more crit damage. Here you're going to want to see more crit damage, so on and so forth. So you need to, when you're farming, if you get a fatal two-slot attack room with accuracy and resistance on it, before you hit get or before you hit sell, just think, who am I going to put this on? If it doesn't come to mind, save it and then go through and think about your monsters and go, who am I going to put this on? If you can't think of anybody to put it on because you go, why would I have an attack, a fatal two-slot attack room with accuracy and resistance on it? If you go, That's, does, it, does it mesh? Sell it. Now, if you get a fatal two-slot attack room with speed, HP, crit damage, and crit rate on it, hey, if you track what I'm saying, that just makes a whole hell of a lot more sense. So I just want to go through this so you beginning and wanting to get the mid-game players kind of understand that. Uh, if you have any questions, by all means, you can drop it in the comments, email me, whatever. And it's just to give you something to say, just because you get a six-star room, you might want to sell it. If you look at your monsters and you go, how come I can't get my crit rate or speed higher? Look at your rooms. Something's got to go. Because if something didn't have to go, you'd have what you need. And then you can talk about rating, trying to go for the homunculus and all that stuff. Because the videos you see out there where people just wiping through and already have the homunculus and all that, they've done what I'm explaining to you to do, hopefully without swiping your Visa card. <laughs> but they've, they've done it. So now they can put out the video. You go, man, he's dropping 1.2 million damage or 2.5 million damage. You go, I can only get to 800K. It's your runes. You can put a Zayros out there all day long. If he's not ruined, he's not doing anything. You can put a Poseidon out there. You can put my Lucian out there. If they're not ruined, they're not doing anything. So 
with that said, I'm done. Uh, hopefully y'all didn't take that as a rant, just more of understanding where I'm coming from. Because I know there's a lot of beginning and mid-game players that just can't break through that glass ceiling and want to know why. And hopefully I've drug this out long enough to where you now know why. So with that said, it's your boy Brett. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a good one.